everyone! So my husband has been trying some new cool recipes recently and I have got him on board to film this one for you. So I hope you guys enjoy. I thought I'd just show you the finished product off the bat. This is cauliflower tortillas. So there's no gluten in them. They are made mostly of cauliflower and you can use them just like a regular tortilla and they taste amazing. So now on to his tutorial. Yeah, what are we making today, Kayla? I don't know. Are we going to make tacos? No. Yeah, we're going to make tacos today, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. And we know what Mummy likes with her tacos, right? Yeah. She likes cauliflower wraps. Yeah. So, cauliflower wraps are very easy. Uh, if you've seen the Pinterest on the cauliflower pizza bites, this is very similar. So, we're going to uh, grate the cauliflower and in this case I'm going to use a food processor and, um, eggs. and eggs yeah you can use a hand grater if you like and then we're going to steam it but rather than steaming it in a pot we're just going to microwave it I find that that works just as well and a couple of eggs a bit of salt and then we're going to bake it in the oven at 375 so we'll kind of walk you through the process here all right so running through cauliflower through the food processor is definitely the easiest way to do this uh, I like to quarter them and then what you can do is you just run your knife along the sides here and you can take the core straight out and run it right through your food processor. If you're going to do it by hand, I recommend leaving the core in and you've got something to hold while you're grating away. So um, that's typically what I do and I'll show you once it's cut up and we'll run it through the food processor. So yeah, definitely the easiest way. One slice, you can take out the core and then you've got your florets already. So definitely the easiest way to core the cauliflower. Okay, so we've got our cauliflower ready to go into the food processor. So we're just going to run this through real quick. And then once this is done, it's going to go into the microwave for about five minutes with about a quarter cup of water. And we'll end up with steamed cauliflower rice. All right, so this is the cauliflower. This is the cauliflower rice. So we're going to just throw this into a casserole dish, cover it, put in a quarter cup of water. And uh, we're going to steam it in the microwave for about five minutes on high. Okay, so this is going to go into the microwave for five minutes, and then when we're done, we're going to strain it and remove all the moisture from the cauliflower. We're going to do this by putting it in a uh, kitchen towel and wringing it out. Okay, so while the cauliflower is microwaving, what I've got is I've got a bowl set up with a strainer, and then I'm going to put a kitchen towel just over top of that. And we're going to empty out all the cauliflower onto this. We're going to let strain what can and then we're going to bunch up the cloth and squeeze out the rest of the liquid from the cauliflower so i'll do my best to show you how that works okay so we now have very hot cauliflower it's been steaming uh this one for just about seven minutes i had a fairly large cauliflower and we're now going to spoon it into our cloth and we're going to drain as much liquid from this as we possibly can so um i'm just going to spoon it in here and then pull up the edges and give it a good squeeze and I'll show you just how much liquid we get out of this cauliflower. Okay, so we've strained and wrung out the cauliflower now and you can see we have just about a cup of water and there was no water left in the dish when we, uh, we emptied it out of the dish from the microwave. So uh, we're now going to let this cool a little bit. We're going to add two whole eggs and two egg whites per one head of cauliflower going to add some salt and pepper and then uh, whatever herbs and spices are going to fit what you're having for dinner. So we're doing tacos. So I'm going to put a little taco seasoning and some dried cilantro into this. And um, I'll show you what the consistency of this looks like before we throw it in the oven. Okay, so we've got about um, a teaspoon of dried cilantro, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of taco seasoning per half head of cauliflower. And Kayla's going to throw in our eggs now. Can you put in our eggs, Kayla? Yeah. Okay, and we're going to stir this up, and then I'll show you how we shape them on the pan. Okay, so we've got our oven at 375, and I've got my baking sheet lined with some parchment paper. And you can kind of see the consistency here. It's pretty dry. Um, we're going to spread these out and try and get them about um, somewhere between a quarter and an eighth inch thick on here. And then they're going to go in the oven for about 25 minutes. If you've got convection, go ahead and use it. Um, convection could be anywhere around 350 to 375 as well. Uh, they're going to go a little faster, but we're going to bake these until they just start going brown. 
So that's the approximate size of what we're going for, but you can see they're a little bit thick still. So my trick is to take a piece of parchment paper, you can lay it on ta top, and you can either use your hand, or you can use a plate if you've got one that's flat on the bottom, or a pan or a pot, and apply pressure, and it'll spread out evenly and quite thin, far thinner than you'll be able to do with a spoon or a spatula. All right, so I've got four fairly large cauliflower tortillas. And they're going to go in at 375 now for about 25 minutes until they start going brown. Probably about halfway through, I'll switch them top to bottom um, to turn them around to make sure that they bake evenly. Okay, so my husband just ran off to dance class with Kayla, but I just pulled them out of the oven. And here's what they look like. I just put them on a cooling rack and they're drying. And they're about the same thickness as a regular tortilla, so I would just use it... Just like any old uh, regular tortilla, they taste really, really good. Like, I almost like them better than normal tortillas, but that is the finished product. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!